Welcome to Hay Street, aka Love and Football. We starting this thing off in the Matrix. <laughs> Talking about doggone Tom Brady, ex-wife, having a baby. Oh, what are we talking about here, Street? What are we know. talking we, about? We, we ain't left field somewhere. I don't know how we get out there, but <laughs> we out there. I don't know how we get out there, dog. We ain't left field somewhere, dog. Man, we hey GPS said make right here, and we're like, nah, we know where we're going, and we went left. <laughs> And we, we kept going, and we ended up over here with love and football. Um, that's why I say we, we should start this thing off, man. We're trying to broaden our audience base here, so hopefully we can get some people in here to talk about <laughs> the train wreck, I guess, of Mr. Miyagi uh, hollering at Giselle, the, the $400 million supermodel, underwear model, and the uh, Goat football player. It, uh, what's happening, dog? Talk to me, man. I'm, I'm, I'm lost. Started training her in 2022. Yeah, why is this news? I'm just trying to figure out why is this news. I, I don't. Let me drink my. You started training her in 2022. When did they divorce? I don't know. He probably was breaking boards on her early before they divorced. <laughs> I'm gonna tell him. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, I'll just tell you right now. Tom Brady divorce. He started training her in 2022. Her and the kids. So he he been around your shorties and stuff. Dog, they divorced in October of 2022 after 13 years of marriage. He started Come on, training dog. her in 2022. Her and the kids. Now, now, Jadelle Bunchen had her own money. I'm not sure. Like, she had money. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how much. We're assuming she had money. She was a 400 million. Mom. She was super expensive. Right. Um, Tom Brady, obviously, flying around, NFL player here, there, there. When you're doing that, you can't can't be home unless she's and the kids are traveling with you. You know what I'm saying? Um mm -hmm. And the dude that has time to be with your family wins. And think about it. He got you all. You saw the little clip, right? They all in there tussling and wrestling. And if y'all, y'all know what time it is in middle school. That's how you got your first little, you start wrestling with it and stuff. Or you know it, you fade to fade. You just go for it. You know, come on, man. He pulled off a middle school move right there, man. That dude, that's crazy. Come on. You know what time it is, man. Do you, do you fault any of these men, bro? No, any of these men that, that get hired to come in and a dude trust them with their family. No, because those man, are the same man to man, right? Okay, all right, I'm listening. Mm -hmm. From man to man, right? Mm -hmm. I hire you to come in. I don't know if he hired her, or she hired her. I trust you with my family and my son. Them need some guidance, they need to learn the discipline of jujitsu. And you end up laying in my wife. She opened the door. That's how I look I'm at it. I'm, I'm, I'm from man to man, though. Don't man hate the player. Man. Hate the, man to man. Don't hate the player. Hate the game. We ain't best friends. You hired me to do a job, and and I gave out great customer service. And so, so if that's the case. If you if, if if that's how you feel, don't ever hire a man to come in your house ever. If you know, if you know it's open season when the plumber walk in, when the cable man walk in, come on. That's what you telling me. That's what you telling me. There's no honor amongst, amongst men. Ain't no honor amongst women, because guess what? What happened? You hit it big. Would you let would would, would your lady let you hire the fine nanny to take care of the kids? She'd be like, no, I want Mrs. Doubtfire to come up in here or Something else. But if the so, fine nanny, if she ever caught the fine nanny coming on to me, right? Mm -hmm. Be woman to woman, <laughs> she should have a problem. Agree. I yeah. let you in my house. I agree. <laughs> and then I trusted you around my family. I, I get all that. But at the end of the day, again, Giselle opened the door to entertain that. Right. She never fired a dude. She never. If And again, I don't know if he came on to because they said they didn't begin the date until June of 23. She got uh, divorced in October of 22. 
So you don't get divorced. You don't be like, let's get divorced today and you divorce tomorrow. So that divorce probably was going on about a year, especially with all the assets they have. Money they had to be, div- the, you know, the breakup was probably another year before that of being, you know, not happy. So they they didn't come out officially till June of 23. But like I said, that boy was breaking boards and jumping ramps earlier than that. I don't care what nobody say. So here's all I could tell you. The same way women don't want the the the, the husband to hire the, the fine nanny to come up in there is the same way a dude shouldn't want to hire the 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 yoga instructor or the workout partner and the dude coming up in there. Yeah, it, it, it's the same thing, dog. That's that's apples to apples, not apples to oranges. I think no, I don't think I don't think every I don't think every candy box is for taking. Like that's what I'm saying. Like some men act like just because the candy box come across the, come come across, you know what I'm saying? Come across the the, you gotta take it. I, I don't think every candy box is worth taking. I think some of it it has to do with honor. Some of it has to do with, with men. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I got I got one for you. When I was in correction, I had some correction, some good friends. Right, we mm-hmm. were real close. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, and we was having a conversation about one of their girlfriends. And I was kind of known to be like a the woman's man, and you know what I'm saying? Okay. I had okay. maybe got around a little more than the rest of them. But okay. my friends, my close friends, my close field friends, right? One of them was one day just came out and they was like, Man, Street, I don't trust you around my girlfriend. He was like, he was like, he was kind of like. No, nah, I man, I don't trust no man around until you say, no, nah, I, I don't trust you to do the right thing around her. And I was I was appalled. I was like, bro, you think you think I hit your lady? The like, question well, is it's all like some 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 women are off limits, right? It's like it's not even worth, it's not even worth trying to do that. You know what I'm saying? When you could just go do something where, where there ain't no strings attached, why would I be sneaking around? <laughs> trying to hit my bad lady when there's a billion women out here. Like some of it's not worth messing with. I get with. that. That's your man. This dude was hired to do a job. They ain't like they were best friends. And he was well, teaching saying, all, all of that. Like all of that. Like 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 some of it is not worth. Some of it is not worth getting entangled with. Now now she may be worth it. <laughs> she <laughs> she might be worth it. Work. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of value coming on that end, but. But, but, but what I'm saying is though, like some men just act like just because the candy bar come across the come across their face, <laughs> they gotta try to bite it, dog. And I don't think all of it's worth biting. Did the candy wrapper take your wrap off itself? See, I get what you're you saying. Take your wrap off, bro. Like certain certain that ain't I, worth I I agree. There's what you're saying is hundred percent true. However, there's an element that says she or he has to also entertain that. You know, unless he decides to go to a whole nother level. And I ain't going to mention that, but y'all know where he decides to take the candy bar, if that makes sense. I'm going to leave that alone. But that's what I'm saying. Other than that, that person has to also be willing participant in this venture. That's all I'm saying. So if they're what willing participant, then guess what? I believe there's more onus on them. That's just my opinion. Because also, I don't know when he started training them. But like I said, it's probably two years in there of unhappiness or separation. Yes, you're yes, whatever. However, you still decide to hey kick it off. And and, and the real question is, who initiated that? That's the real question. Did she initiate it? Did he initiate it? Did they kind of ha- you know did did they go get a coffee and decide hey, like I'm just saying to me, there's a lot of things that go on in those situations. We, like we were talking about earlier, Jeff Bezos, Jeff Bezos started Amazon from the ground with his wife. And she, 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 she out here with the, the elementary school teacher where the kids go to school. So like you ain't never home. So, yeah. so you gotta work really hard, become a billionaire, make your life super easy. <laughs> and then you gotta be home at the same time. Cause your life being super easy is boring. <laughs> Idle time is the devil workshop, dog. So all I'm saying is, at the end of the day, I hear you, and I understand that. But Giselle got to be a part of that. Maybe she's uh, lonely. I'm hiring, I'm 
I'm hiring, I'm hiring a dude to go to the workout <laughs> with them <laughs> to make sure he watching himself. Like, like, really, dog? Like, listen, bro. Like, come on, man. Okay, then that's what you got to do. Or get a get a hell. Today's time ain't no telling. The female jujitsu teacher might be in the for the win. Who knows, bro? Like, you know what I'm saying? It, it is one of them things. It's a trust factor in there. But again, they were also in the process of getting a divorce. And so, you know, he slid. He, hey, what they call perfect timing. Shout out to Shador. Perfect timing. The right place at the right time. And they picked the right jujitsu teacher. Teacher. Kanichiwa. Does, does That's it bother all I'm you more that you can't beat his ass? That you don't even have a chance to beat his ass? Does it bother you? <laughs> like, like, like you. I don't th- I'm going to be honest with you, dog. I don't think Tom Brady care. I don't. I, I believe when I saw that roast of Tom Brady, mm-hmm. I think he'll like an undercover G dog. He looked like the little square dude, you know, the little pretty boy, the model cat. But I think he a real G by his. I don't think he cared. Like I think he done with it, and it may have been sooner in the public than he may be wanted. But I don't you, think he cared. You you don't have kids. I'm telling you, he cared. When you have kids, it's now, totally, that part, now, totally now, hold on, that part I can agree with. No, that part yeah. I can agree with about he the interaction of the kid. But I'm but talking about the whole family. Like, his whole family is over there. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not like he just took her. Right. I, I agree yeah. with you. But in Tom Brady in a relationship right now? Um, He probably should be. <laughs> yeah. He should be. He should be. No, listen, Tom Brady in a relationship, too. Who he dating? <laughs> He's dating Irina Shaik, whatever her name is. So he's dating she's her better, right now. She look better than a supermodel. Come on, let's pull both of them up. Come on, man, let's let, let, let's pull both of them up. See what see what see see what the comment section think. What's her name? Irina Shaik, something like that. Shaik. Let's see when they start dating. Bro, they dog dating in July 23. Come on, dog. She look better than Giselle? They about the same. Huh? But all I'm saying is, they came out publicly with the karate man in June of 23, and he came out oh, dating man. her in July 23. Man, Pull up her that's... best pick, dog. Pull up her best pick, bro. Type in Shay best pick or whatever. I'm going to type in Giselle bunch of best picks, which, which is not fair. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I tell you, Street, they they, they kind of resemble one another, in my opinion. But they look yeah. alike. Not look alike. I mean, they got the model look. You know, thin. You know, she must be young. I don't know. How, I don't know how old she is. He had to go. He had to go younger, dog. Let me see. I don't know, bro. I, I'm still trying to find out why this news worthy, but okay, this is his this is his girlfriend right now. That's her. Let me she go to images. Oh, she got a model also? Yeah. They all got like I said, they got the same kind of look. They don't look the same, but they got the, you know. Dark hair girl. Okay. And this so, is it. Huh? Same body style. So you know <laughs> same, same 120 pounds. <laughs> Looking like a dog on horse jockey out there. Same 120 pounds, boy. Girl, thin, ain't they? Yeah, man. So, I mean, that's where we at with it, man. I mean, that's where we at with it. That's Tom Brady going through his, I guess, midlife crisis, I guess. Or whatever the case. No, nah, no. Nah. And like you said, to your point, I understand the kid aspect of it. I totally do. Um, and I'm not saying he doesn't care about that part, but I'm talking about the relationship piece. Like you said, it's reported that they that he started dating old girl in July of 23, and they came out publicly and were dating in June of 23. So if they got divorced in October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May, June. So six, seven months apart, something like that, man. But you know, that's how I look at it, man. 